Uh, greetings once again. It's me. Uh, just a really quick short video of a little gadget I just put in the Mustang. You might see it there. Uh, I don't know why it's coming on right now. The car's not running. To... Uh, anyway, <laughs> we'll show you what we got here. I got a uh, Aero Force interceptor gauge in uh, a Roush gauge pod. Start the car up here, let it uh, boot up. If everything's working right. And now we see it coming on. I don't know how clear it's going to be on the video, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Yeah, anyway, there you go. Uh, you can basically set it to uh, monitor whatever you want. It just plugs into the OBD2 port. And uh, right now I've got uh, the coolant temperature and the fuel pressure being monitored. But my two uh, little buttons here, you can change it uh, uh, to RPM on the top. And uh, you can change each, each one to whatever you want it to read. And you can even have it scan several different items. Uh, I like to leave it on just a couple of them. Uh, even a, a speedometer. <laughs> ignition advance uh, like I say the bottom is showing the fuel pressure uh, a lot of it a lot of the stuff I don't even understand but you know it's a little toy to play with even uh, shows you your miles per gallon are calculated anyway right now it's showing zero because I'm not moving horsepower uh, runtime barometer the battery voltage showing 14.2 and there's fuel pressure again on the top uh, fuel level misfires intake air temperature the ambient air and we're gonna leave it right there on the coolant on the top and the fuel pressure on the bottom anyway just something to, to play with while I'm driving down the road just another distraction and there you have it was a uh, pretty easy to install this uh, whole gauge cluster simply by pulling in here and here pull straight out and uh, you take out the old air conditioner uh, vent tube and uh, well it's hard to explain but you take it out and basically replace it with the Roush unit and install your gauge run your wire that's it very simple install I didn't break anything Everything snapped together really tight. Uh, this aluminum trim on this uh, 2010 isn't just uh, a piece of plastic or uh, anything thin. It's a uh, pretty good thick metal, and it's uh, pretty stout. Anyway, there you have it. That's enough for now. Time to wash the car. See you later.